You know, it's truly amazing that when you write something down, how easy it is to remember it. And it could be just me, it could be just the way my memory works. Um, like I said before, I got some type of photogenic memory. It's not like the one they pitch say how about the movies, but it's similar. Because I want to talk about something right now, and it's like, fuck, forgot it again. And like normal, like eventually it'll come to me if I forget it, right? But because I wrote it down in my kitchen about an hour ago, I can go, remember, and it's like right now, it's almost like being in real time. Right now, I can go in my kitchen in my mind, which is where I am right now, and I'm looking at the paper beside the microwave, and I can see exactly what it's saying. So is that in my memory, or am I looking at that real time right now? And it's an easy trick you can do too anytime. Write something down, you know, early on in the day, and put it fucking beside the microwave, or wherever in your house, maybe beside your bed, and then go outside in your car, record your thoughts, and see if you can fucking see what's on that piece of paper now technically you're looking at your memory of when you wrote that down but technically i'm not picturing that right now i'm actually picturing in my mind right now the spot beside the mic microwave where it is and i can see exactly what i wrote it was how to help your kids during uh social distancing um then i wrote math and then i put out uh, an x multiply and below that i said practice memorization or memory work and then there's two more things that I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a bit of a blank on, but they were just derivatives. Oh, no, no, sorry. The last line was psychology of children. Again, um, go more in depth on that. And the other one was something to do with memorization that I don't really remember. And I'll show you this paper after. So you can see I got it all fucking right. And I don't have it here with me right now. now you might not believe it. You might think it's right there on the fucking chair. But it ain't. There's no paper fucking here anywhere. That's just my good ass memory remembering that. You know, this hour goes on that long. But it's a good it's a good technique and it's gonna it brings me to what I want to talk about today. And what I want to talk about is that. So my last video was my opinion on why social distancing is a bad idea, especially for children right now. Because not only is it going to make people more sick by keeping them in the house, especially the kids that are supposed to be staying at home and going to get fucking um, schooled at home instead of going somewhere. Now, I'm not like you and I'm not living where you live. So please don't take my comments and my opinion and my what I said as an attack on you or your belief systems or what you should. Um, if you live in a town where it's kids need to bring fucking. Uh, kids bring guns to school and you know, there's a metal detector right in the fucking school Well, then yeah, it might be safer for go ahead It may be safer for you to keep your kids at home Not only because of COVID but because of you know gangs and all that so I don't know if that's part of your 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 judgment and how you're making a decision then you know by all means you're the parent But all I'm trying to say is remove yourself from that parent role when you make the decision so you can make a well-informed decision because if you are being mama bear protecting her cubs when her cubs are right in front of a bunch of hunters pointing a rifle at it then yeah you're acting out of fucking flight or fight you're acting out of fear you're acting out of anger and pure fear of losing your children so you're going to make some rash stupid decisions now in that circumstance, if you decide to charge in front and take the bullets and take those fucking hunters out at the same time as you take those bullets, well, I'd say that's a damn good parent. But if you're making this choice out of protecting your cubs when your cubs don't need protection, that the ultimate protection is to put them out there where there's a little bit of danger and make them uh, make their own decisions so that they can inoculate themselves to danger. Well, if you're protecting them from that, if you're stopping them from having the smarts, the ability, get street smart as it were, then you're fucking your kid over. Now, and I don't mean this personal because I love these two people, Birch more than anything, but Marta too, I have respect for her. And she said she wants to keep her kid at home and homeschool him. And I, and I get it. These times are fucked up. I get that so much. And I feel the same way in a lot of ways anyways. I feel like that is almost something that me and my wife need to consider. But in the same sense, if you take Birch, for example, running the streets as a kid, part of all these different movements. He, believe, he says he's an anarchist, that I fucking believe him. He says he's been an activist, he sat in front of trees whenever they're built to be chopped down. And I believe that. I believe all that. But his kid, if it's homeschooled and doesn't get to be socialized and doesn't get to go out there and make bad decisions and figure life out for itself. If 
Marta is going to stay home and protect that child while Birch does his thing. And then that kid grows up is not going to know anything. It's not going to know how to be like that. It's not going to be able to be tough like that and make those hard decisions. And, you know, maybe it's a mistake every once in a while to sit in front of a fucking tree, you know, because, and maybe it's not. And maybe it's a mistake sometimes to stay up all night and do cocaine like Birch did, but maybe it's not. Maybe that led him to where he's supposed to be. Ultimately, the point is, you got you let your kids choose and that kid gets protected well birch is going to be this hard ass fucking witch that i fucking respect and this kid will grow up to not be the complete opposite this you know um mother too too much overprotected child and I'm, and that's not a diss there we need more parents that are willing to overprotect their children in this day and age but in the same sense Whenever there's that line that's crossed, there's a line, right? There's a line between bad parenting and letting the kid choose for himself and a line between overprotecting and letting the kid choose themselves. You want to be somewhere in that middle zone where you love your kids enough to make the hard decisions and not say, well, I don't want you to go to school and get COVID, so I'm keeping you home. Well, if you are protecting them from COVID, that's a good thing, but... I mean, you really, really got to look into some of this shit and figure this shit out because I haven't seen any kids that died from this. The two cases in Canada where the child died and they said it was COVID, the child had leukemia right off the hop, and the other child had something like, I don't even know what it was, but it was a super complication. And that one ended up being a fake COVID. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you about but I don't know what's going on in the States and I don't know what they're looking at. And I don't mean any disrespect because like I said, Birch is one of the reasons that I can perform magic. If it wouldn't have been for him, I wouldn't be able to perform magic, you know, not as well as I, I can. I wouldn't have even discovered witchcraft. I wouldn't have discovered a whole lot of shit, man. And it's because of him that I can do a lot of this shit. Think we're fucking waiting here for nothing, dumbass? Hold the fuck up, man. Jesus. Some people, but this guy wants to fucking drive. Yeah, we've been all waiting here for a while for this guy to back up. Like, just let the dude back up so he doesn't take out the fucking building. Why is everybody such in a fucking rush all the time? And I say that, and that thing's a lot coming for me because I'm always in a fucking rush. I mean, my first thought was to cross. guy thinks he's a fucking ball or something because he's in a lane road for like Jesus Christ man what a goof but fuck cut your ass right off but you don't a fucking idiot <laughs> I love it oh man I'll start fucking road raid I don't give a fuck this guy wants to be a fucking goof and fuck with somebody when he's just trying to back up and not do a bad thing. This guy's want to fucking rush him and bully him. I'll fucking bully your ass in the road. Two hours don't make it right, kids. Don't do that. And I don't know what I'm talking about Birch and I'm channeling him. No, I'm not channeling him, but, you know, he always says kids and stuff. And like I said, I got no disrespect for them, too. I get where they're coming from. And I was doing the same thing. And I'm, I still, I'm still on the fence. Like last night I said, if my wife has to go back to work, I'm going to stay home with my kids. I said that last night in the video and today I'm talking about how it's important for them to go to school like see I'm, I'm back and forth and there's no way to ever really know what's real information what we need to fucking do or not you know what I mean there's no way to fucking know so you gotta keep weighing both options every day you know the right and the left have to be having conversations with each other every day and they probably are we're just the pawns and the puppets in the middle believe in that one side or the other side is this or that but for a good system to work the left side the right side would have communication with each other and this way neither one of them go to the extremes and that would be a perfect world but anyways so you don't want your kid to grow up not having life experience not having street smarts not being able to do specific things because they were too nurtured and too babied and too this and too that I mean, that, that's, that's the breeding ground for disease, for infection, for weak immune system. And uh, do you want your kid to have such a weak immune system in a day like, to, in, a, in a world like today, like keeping your kid at home because you're scared they're going to get COVID when the only cure to COVID 
because I'm telling you right now, you give your kid the vaccine for COVID and they haven't been eating dirt and they don't have a strong immune system, that COVID could kill them because vaccines are normally the disease, but a, a smaller strength of the disease so that you can inoculate yourself against it, right? Am I not right? That's what most vaccines are. The flu shot. Why do you get the flu when you get the flu shot? Why are you not supposed to have any kind of sickness or symptoms whenever you get the flu shot? Well, it's because they're giving you the fucking flu. And if you're already sick, that means your immune system is compromised. Therefore, if you want to protect your kid from the from coronavirus and you don't want him to go out there in case he might get coronavirus, but you're willing to line him up and give him a vaccine, which is coronavirus, it makes no sense. Do you understand that logic? The vaccine is always, 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 get that, always the fucking disease or infection or whatever it is. Always, always, always. Lately anyways, maybe the lady horse piss that ended up being penicillin that actually got rid of some things. Well, that was different. It's an antibiotic and that treats infections, but you can't treat a virus with an infection or with um, an antibiotic. It won't work, but penicillin is lady horse piss. And yes, it has to be a lady. It has to be a female horse. If you don't believe me, look it up. And that's why people have an allergy to penicillin because it comes from a different mammal. And that's why they made a moxicillin because it mocks penicillin. A moxicillin. Think about it. Um, but anyways, the point of this is if you want to do your kids some good, you do some memory work with them. This touches on creativity because you get you can get creative and it helps the kid become creative. It makes the it forces the kid to use their mind in creative ways to try to remember the numbers that you're making them learn. And I had a conversation with my buddy, a buddy at my house right now. He's got a memory just like mine where they can because we were already laughing. I showed him a picture of the bank card, my wife on the phone in case I ever need to use money and I don't have the card and I can use it. He's like, ah, he's like, I don't even need to do that. It's like I fucking memorized it the first fucking day she had it. You know, he's bad with a lot of memory things. Like, he won't remember what we did yesterday. But when he wants to remember something, he can fucking remember anything. And I said, oh, yeah? I'm like, I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out why I might have this picture of memory. I'm like, but uh, the best thing I come up with is my mom doing all these multiplication works and shit with me. He's like, oh, that's funny. He's like, my grandma did the same thing. But and his is better than mine. Uh, my buddy Justin, his memory is better than mine. His picture memory is way better than mine. And his grandma used to not only do that, but she used to do verb, English, and a bunch of different subjects, flashcard, memorizing style with him. So there's definitely a correlation there, in my opinion, when you do this kind of work. And you can say, well, I'm old now, I can't do that. No, that's bullshit. You can do this now. I've been doing it now to practice to get my memory fucking top notch. And then the more, the stronger your brain is, the better. And with the way I put out content and I diss people and whatever I would be stupid to not be exercising my brain right now I'm working this bitch out so I'm the first person who wants to go at it have a debate or whatever with me I'm fucking ready for it and I will tear them apart if I have to to prove a point but the right thing to do would be to put them down in a nice way and this way people don't think I'm an arrogant prick and they actually hear my message so they don't think. So anyways, um, that's me overthinking things, but nonetheless, always a good way. So I've been working on my brain like a motherfucker doing these techniques and I'm telling you, it's helped. Like I said, I, right now, I can tell you exactly what's on that piece of paper that's at my house right now. I can show you it after. But more than that, I got a book beside it and I could probably recite to you the first 25 pages and I wrote those shits a year ago. Now you tell me, is that my memory or is that me fucking doing some kind of remote viewing? I don't know. I don't care. Are they this one and the same? Are they similar? Who cares? As long as you can do it, it doesn't matter what they really are, right? All right. I got the windows down now. Chilling like a villain. So yeah, if anybody ever wants to go at me or talk to me or fucking make an episode about me or debate me live or fucking whatever, you know, let's say I go on Ralph Smart show. He said, uh, open invitation or, uh, sorry, no invitation, but, you know, if you want to be on a show, why should you be on a show? And I seriously thought about uh, sending a message, so I might. But what happens if there's somebody else there starts dissing me or maybe people start commenting it's a lie or something like that and start making fun of me and whatever. I need to have my wits to fucking... So I've done lots of 
spiritual exercises, meditations, offerings to Thoth or Toth. I used to call it Thoth, but then I heard a bunch of people call it the same. When you say Thoth, you really don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So Toth, Thoth life, Thug life. Anyways, um, but I've done all that to be able to get correspondences and get the knowledge fast. And technically, it's not me. I'm picking up what's around everybody just at any given time just only the people that ask to receive that knowledge can actually pick it up and i'm one of those who do that so i'm able to talk about almost any subject and relate it to any other subject because i've asked for that and i receive it because i give offerings daily um well definitely weekly to self mercury um hermes um fucking i want to say a boo boo a boo no, and not some to that effect of the Mesopotamian name for Mercury's Mercury when he was in a different place and part of the sun. Whenever all the gods trapped the sun where he is, Mercury was also trapped there and can't go because that's why he's the closest one to it. Kind of like us and the moon, Mercury is like the sun, his moon, and you know, anyways. But the point is, I'm also getting my memory better so that if I'm ever in a place where I need to remember something, photogenic memory, be able to use that, be able to prove how it works, I can. And this way, you know, I may not know as much as cultists that have been in the game for 15, 20, 30, 40 fucking years, but what I can do with the four years that I've been in the game is I can draw on anything, any knowledge, at any given time, I can channel things from fucking out of thin air as it were. And I can also, I can also use, improve the muscle memory or picture memory that I have. See, when it comes to muscle memory, mine is exceptional. Okay, not as exceptional as my buddy's, but I'm working on getting that better than his, or at least equivalent to his. You know, and that's why I do things like this, and it's good. That's healthy competition, if you ask me. You know, he's got a really good memory where he can look at a bank card and all like that. I'm like that with songs. I hear a song once, twice on the radio, and I can sing most of it to you. And if I've never heard it before, it's hard for me to get it. But there are other things I'm good at, which is, you know, figuring out how people how to finish anybody's sentences um, and where they're going. And then, especially when it comes to rhyming in a song, it takes a lot of the variability out of what the words coming up. So they have their intention and where they're going with the song, and then my mind's able to pick up what the rhyming word is most likely going to be. I'm very good at that. So even the songs I haven't heard before, I can make it look like I'm pretty good. See, I've never even heard the song before yet. I can sing you the chorus, you know? And then after I sing it once, I can remember it for the rest of that entire song. So that's kind of my point. But anyways, the point of all this is to say that if you want to help your children during this social distancing fucking time, you want to do something beneficial to them, and even once they go to school, well, not only are you spending time with them, not only are you going to help create those neural pathways so they're less likely to be an addict not only are you going to help them not feel abandoned and alone but you're also going to help them have the memory of a fucking star by sitting at home with them helping them do their fucking math multiplications and you could say well math is so complicated nowadays yeah but if you take the times tables and the divisions that are basically the same but in reverse you know you can teach them all their little techniques you use for math and they're gonna either come up with their own from a uh, uh, from a variation of all yours or they're gonna use the ones you use and that's helpful but if you can help them do fast multiplication that comes in handy with everything from trigonometry to ge uh, um, sorry, it's to geology but ge geometry geometry um, all the different maths you need to know how to do your multiplications and your divisions fast faster you can do that it helps with all maths even fucking finance and that was the one I was the worst at, even though I was good at all the other math. So keep that in mind. That's very beneficial. And you're going to help them. And you should do it yourself as well because it's also going to help you in the fucking long run. So that's my word of advice. So this morning I, I talked about what you need to banish out of your life, what you need to not allow your kids to do, what you need to do to help your children. Now I'm giving you something so you banish that scenario out of your life and this is something you're going to invoke. And it's going to help you on many fronts. Spending time with your kids, getting your kids to be creative, getting your kids to use their brain more, use it as a muscle. And if you do this as a child, it'll stick with them. See, as an adult, you can work on this as well. But it's going to take you longer than it's going to take your kid to learn and pick this up. But still, better now than never. But as a child, you can do with this with them like less than 21 days and they'll have it down fucking packed. And if they memorize what every multiplication is, 
from 1 times all the fucking numbers from 1 to 12, and you're 12 times all those ones. Well, then you can even go further than that if you want. And then you can do the English work and curves and any other subject that has predictability and less variability that you can do these general things that'll help them out on many fronts then you're golden and you're going to be parent of the year and you're going to see the results and you're going to help the generations have a better future than leaving them in shit. Anyway, there I go ready for work. I hope this is enough for an episode. I'm going to put it on either way. And yeah, have a great fucking day.